going on guys this is everyone 92 here welcome to the channel subscribe turn on that post notification drop a bit fat like and share this with your friends family and everyone you know and i would appreciate you guys doing that and yeah so uh, hope everyone have a good day happy thursday you guys so today's video is going to be about how i edit my my fortnite montage on final cut pro x if you guys don't know what's Final Cut Pro X, basically it's a s editing software for Mac only, for iOS only. And yeah, you can get this for a 90 days uh, free trial. And then after that, it's going to be expired and you can like pay for $300. Sure, it's going to be a lot, but I feel like it's going to be pretty good for my opinion. I actually really like it. It's simple, easier than all the other editing software. I'm not saying all those others, um, other editing s software are like not bad they're really good but like i don't like complicate stuff i just like simple and like easy and you know so i've been using final cut pro for about so i'm in my third year in college so about four years so far four and a half years and i really like it all right enough chit chat let's get um started with the tutorial Okay, so guys, so we're literally on the timeline right now. So just as you guys can tell, this is literally the timeline when you put your clips in. And yeah, so I'm gonna move this on the side right now. Okay, so just in case you guys have literally any clips at all, you guys can literally click and drag, like click and drag, you know? So yeah, let's get started. I'm just gonna do this as, um, not gonna be as much, but yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys the most basic one. Okay guys, so since you see the video like right here, usually um your video is going to be in. So if you want to like um see your whole timeline, you can put command or control um for command that's on Mac. It's command and then the the, the one the minus sign next to the plus sign. So you click that so you're able to see your whole timeline and then for Windows, I believe it control minus as well. So yeah. Usually I like to do like this because I want to see every single variety of my angles like either I like it or not and yeah so usually I just um keep watch the video like just like see which clips that's really good that I like and then after that yeah. Alright guys so I finally found my clip so I'm like just gonna click on it just one click command or control depending which one you're on for windows this is a different story for mac it's command plus uh, command and b in the same time that means but so i just want to find the best clip that i find that i like usually and command plus i just want to see just to be sure so since i found my favorite clip that i want to use for my montage it's gonna be this clip right here oh my yeah so i'm gonna click um command and b again and then after that so basically you guys already know that like i'm just trying to find all these good clips that i want to use it for my montage so we're pretending that i'm a pro when i'm really not but yeah you guys so i already got all the clips that i wanted it's not that much there were like so many clips about eight minutes long so basically i had to keep on keep on going through the video that like i don't skim i just literally skimmed through to find the clips that i want and yeah so i got these clips so far so within these three clips usually when you see they're not like center like like vertical when horizontal they're not vertical so yeah so i just want to highlight these one make to a compound together as a group so it'll be way easier and also i click this transform tool is that able to make me scratch the video back in so it'll be like like that and then after that, I want to like uh, make it center so just in case my ears name shows up. Yeah. So that was part two, you guys. Wait, no. That was part one. Yeah, that was part two, you guys. No, that was part th that was part three, you guys. So drag the timeline, looking through the video, and then make all of them into a compound together so it wouldn't be together if you guys want. I usually like it. And yeah. So step number four, I usually... Uh, delete these clips throw them in the trash so i can like space out more and then i just keep on constantly doing over and over again but yeah all right you guys so the next step you want to find your song so it can be literally anything i would say probably a popular song or any song that you like two to three minute range and yeah so you go to this website yt mp3 player you can download mp3 mp3s for music for audio 
and MP4 is actual video. So yeah, let's get started for the um, convert to the files, and I'm able to have that in my file to put in the video editing software. All right, you guys. So since I already showed you guys the video, um, no, I show you guys how to get the music, any music you want. You just need to copy the URL link on top. And then you put it on that file and then I already downloaded it since I already have it. So click um, convert and then after that you see that download button, you click download. And you drag this timeline all the way here. And you can put the beginning or wherever you want. I usually put the beginning because usually. And yeah, I already have the song already because I already compound um, into one with the music as well. As you guys can hear. Uh, I'm just going to lower it down real quick. Yeah, so from there, um, I made everything into one, the, the original video and the music underneath, so I just made it into compound. So, um, the next step is that, um, I'm trying to find the, like, like, the one I want to sync in with my, um, clip. So, basically what I'm saying, sync in, like, make it perfectly. So, like, for example, the part when it is the pump right here, I literally zoom in, command B. And then after that, put the, um, a pump sound, so like make it sync. So yeah, um, you guys can look up Fortnite pump, um, pump sound and then you just get the URL link. And then after that, you go into that, um, link that I show you guys. You guys don't have to go to that link if you guys want. You just can go to any YouTube MP3 or something like that convert. And then after that, you can drag it from your timeline. And yeah, I'm gonna show you guys right now, huh? Alright you guys, so since I have the pump sound, this is how it sound like this. Like, kaboom. Like that. So, I'm just going to drag it all the way from here, just make it perfectly. And I want to find that, that sync though, you know? So, this is where I'm going to be pump my opponent. Um, I want to do keyframing, so keyframe just make it perfectly. So, it is where right, right around that area, so... I'm just gonna shrink it just to make it perfect and yeah we'll see how it goes. Oh my, God. Oh, my. oh my gosh, that was actually perfect. So usually I want to increase it just in case. Not too much, so maybe around the five section, I would say so. Five to five to eight. So yeah, I actually really like it. It's like really sink in. You, uh, you can keep on doing it. I usually do it because I actually really like it. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So yeah, depending on how much time and effort I really want to put in the video most likely. Alright you guys, so another step is that since I'm already done for finding all the pump sound, um, I'm, we're almost done at the end from the editing. So for the transition is that like uh, one page to another, so make it like a special effect. So usually at the end, I always want to put this at the end, and it looks kind of cool. Check this out. So usually it's like literally about to end. That's when the video is about to end, and yeah. So from there, um, right here, uh, I just go click right here, title, and then after that I click custom. So I can use custom to make my title. So. Um, any title I want, so the most popular everyone been using is that, um, edit by Cyberhorn92, aka myself. So, I want to increase it just to be a little bit so people can see. And then after that, I like to scroll down. I like to make a drop shadow. I want to make it a uh, bold and then outline. Outline so I can let people know. Um, I can change the colors as well as you guys can see so like any of these colors um, I would probably gonna go with probably uh, red because I've been using it a lot and yeah so I don't want to put it too long so maybe about three seconds so I'm gonna shrink this up if I see that three minutes right there so I want to try to make it perfectly three if possible. If not, it is a okay. Um, actually two minutes instead, guys. So two minutes right there, and yeah, look kind of look like professional. You guys, let me know. And just in case, if like it's like 
monitoring. I can like put it on the top. I can like double click in. Uh, okay. I can double click it and then start moving it right there. So it will be like kind of like this. Oh my God. Yeah, so it looked kind of cool as well. So my favorite part at the end that, that like since we already done all the clips, um, this is optional. So I actually really like using this sometime. So whenever um I eliminate a player, I usually do a transition. So at the right hand corner, there's a trans transition and there is an install effect. So transition is that like from one video to another or like one to another. So when I destroy my opponent with the right yeah. there and then it go to the next clip. So I can find any clips I want to see like what I feel in the vibes, you know? So like it, there's so many like out there. So you can use it. You can get some download presets. Presets like uh, somebody already built in so you can use it. And yeah, this is optional. So I actually really use it sometimes. So yeah, I also use like overlays as well. So I'm going to talk about that in a different video. If you guys want that video, like a professional editing, like like put a lot of time and effort and like really, really like wow, like like really cool effects um, of, of a Fortnite montage. If we can get at least 50 plus likes, I will appreciate it. Uh, I think that's about it. If I forget anything, let me know. I can talk about um, this one as well, so just in case you guys use Final Cut Pro. Hopefully this video helps. These are the transition. You can keep on scrolling down just to see which one you like. Uh, the install effects, it just have some special cool effect. It make your video different like a, a movie scene. So yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys an example. Like guys, like you can like use this like bad, uh, bad TV. You make the video look way cooler. So if you guys want another part two, you guys can do it. 50 plus likes, I would appreciate it. And you guys made all the video all the way to the end. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, turn on that post notification, share this to your friends, everyone you know. Please use my credit code in the item shop. It's called yt one ninety two in item shop. The more people use it, the better I can do tournaments in the future more. And yeah, and one last thing, if you guys want to send me any fan mail, I'll put in the video or down in the description if you guys want to send me anything. And yeah, your boys, everyone, night too, is signing out. Peace.